let's be honest, London is filled with incredible things to see and things to do, which is what makes it so popular. While many want to tick off the essentials of London, you might be searching for more unique spots. Whether you're looking for a quirky find that even the locals haven't heard of, or you just want to find a quieter place to enjoy in London, this is the perfect video for you. I'll be sharing my top six must-visit sites in London that aren't your usual tourist traps. Get ready to find out the perfect postcard because you will be definitely wanting to write home about these places. Number one, get romantic in an overgrown Victorian cemetery. We've got Nunhead Cemetery in South East London. Just a few moments away from the views across London that Telegraph Hill provides, this gorgeous Victorian cemetery is a historical find that's well worth visiting. While some might feel that a cemetery isn't top of their list for a romantic walk, you might be surprised at this little gem of London. The cemetery is located in Southeast London where you'll find a serene, peaceful place to walk through. To really get the most of the experience, you could attend one of the monthly tours to find all about its intriguing history. They even offer woodland tree walks, open air concerts, and a derelict stone chapel. It's actually one of the areas I suggested in my recent videos about getting more fruit bang for your buck, so make sure to check it out. Number two, take in the views from the river on a self-drive boating from Paddington. London is uniquely designed around the River Thames, and one way to take advantage of this is by boat. There are plenty of tours you can jump on that include food and on the River Thames cruise, but there's nothing quite like being in charge of your own destiny. GoBoat offers one, two, and three hour boating hire so you can jump on and carve out your own route through London. Set off from Paddington and you'll be able to see some fabulous sights as you meander through the canals. A one hour booking is just 95 pounds and you'll take you through Little Venice, one of my favorite neighborhoods in London. While the two hour booking for 135 pounds takes you through Regent's Park, then past the Wild Dogs and Aviary at London Zoo. Number three, discover the hidden treasures at the British Library on Euston Road. While the museums on Exhibition Road and South Kensington have lines and plenty of tourists, the British Library has some hidden treasures that not many people, visitors or residents know about. Located right next to St. Pancras Station for easy access, this library is like no other. The library holds a copy of every publication produced in the UK and Ireland. With over 150 million items with some 3 million new items each year, you can lose yourself in books every day. You can apply for access to the reading rooms for a truly magical experience or simply explore the permanent and temporary exhibits in the John Ritlat Gallery. The gallery has some of the most famous written and printed items in the world. For example, you can view the Lindisfarne's Gospels, Shakespeare's First Folio, Handel's Messiah, the Gutenberg Bible, drafts of the Magna Carta, and the Beatles manuscripts to name just a few. Number four, visit the second biggest greenhouse in London, the Barbican Conservatory. This exclusive, mostly unknown oasis above London is definitely unexpected. Housed in the brutalistic architecture that is the Barbican Art Center, you'll discover your very own rainforest in the middle of London. Opened in 1984, this biggest greenhouse in London, second only to Kew Gardens, which in and of itself is a must visit. With 2,000 plant species and extensive series of concrete terraces and beds, you'll feel like you've been transported to a completely different country. There are even koi carp and terrapins, as well as a pop-up cafe and bar. The conservatory is open on Sunday and bank holiday Monday afternoons, as well as selected Saturdays until 10 p.m. If you prefer your visits to be educational, you can take a guided tour or even come for afternoon tea. A nice surprise is that the entrance is free, but I do recommend booking online, which will let you do a week in advance. Number five, view an architect's home like never before. Sir John Stone's Museum is located in Lincoln's Inn Field in Holborn. I love architecture and discovering new architects, designers, and interiors truly is a passion of mine. So I was delighted when I discovered this museum by British architect Sir John Stone. The museum has been kept in its original condition since its passing in 1837. It displays its vast collection of antiquities, furniture, sculptures, architectural models, and paintings. There's even a gorgeous dome ceiling inset with convex mirrors in the breakfast room. 
You can view the sarcophagus of alabaster in the monument court. It was carved for the pharaoh Seti I and was discovered in his tomb in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. Open Wednesday to Sunday, you can take a walk around this home turned museum for free. For a little more, you can join a highlights tour or attend one of their events in the home. Number six, take in a performance in a breathtaking grade two listed concert hall, Wilton Music Hall, located in Whitechapel. Wilton Music Hall is a grade two listed concert hall in Whitechapel, which offers visitors a very special historic experience. The building was designed by Sir John Wilton in the mid 19th century. The exterior is made up of five Victorian house fronts, which then opened up into an auditorium that underwent a major refurbishment in 2015. The space features modern lighting, heating, and ventilation, while most of the pure features remain. From cast iron pillars to carved balconies with classical arches, the space is a history buff stream and perfect for catching your favorite play or opera. If you're not into the theater or music scene, you can just pop into the bar to take in the interiors and historic architecture that the building has to offer. There is a varied list of events being hosted throughout the year, and I have a link in the description box below so you can reserve your space in this stunning London venue. So which of these top picks of unique things to do around London appeal to you? Make sure to leave me a comment below. And if you're looking to move to London and want to discover your favorite hidden gems, including the perfect neighborhood for your needs and budget, then please get in touch. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great tips and information about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.